eat this. You stop running away from me, you moron. Poop. Any poop? No poop. Okay. What is going on, geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Don't Starve Shipwreck. We're running on Torchlight. It's quite dark. We're on a jungle island. Oh, no. I've alt-tabbed somehow. There. Back in the game. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. <laughs> There's the map. Uh, I'm just going to try and explore what is left of this island. The one thing I know is that we found a ton of gold. And then our island is just up here. You see that? conglomeration of berry bushes. Yeah, that's the start of a farm. We have been on a pretty good roll. This, of course, episode 12 of Don't Starve Shipwrecked and episode 4 in my run as Wellani. She is a fun little character. Gets her own surfboard, which is pretty boss. And she can take to the ocean like no other. She is an ocean farer, and because of that I haven't let myself get bogged down on one island for too long. I burned down part of this forest overnight. But the goal, of course, is gold. Gear up with as much gold as we got. That way we can maybe start making some luxury tools. Ones that won't break every time you gotta use them. Oh, we're out of sticks. We're out of sticks and there ain't no sticks on this island. Crap. Okay, well, we'll come back for gold. Surfboard it is, and we're gonna head to the north again. We're gonna see, maybe we can finish fertilizing the farm. You know, I think this game, guys, this is the first moment, one of the first moments I've had where, like, I feel like I'm doing well enough, like it's just another day at the office, another damn- Oh, well, what am I doing? I'm doing it again, I'm cursing myself. Another day at the office, I'm gonna get bit by a snake and die right the hell here. We gotta go home and feed ourselves, I almost died of starvation without paying attention last episode, so... Got some work to do on that front. Um... But yeah, I- I mean... I- this is the mid-game. We have escaped the beginning of the game. And we have now entered mid-game. Late game, I have no idea what it looks like. Never made it more than, say, 15 days. Uh, so you may have to start giving me tips and tricks again. I didn't anticipate to make it this far. I thought the Willani run would be three episodes, maybe eight, nine days. That's what it is at the start of episode four. So we're, we're outliving my expectations already. You can see we're blowing into stormy season. Look at this. Look at the size of these mega waves. They just wreck you. They're trash you. Get off me. Am I going to miss my island? I've missed it entirely. That's cool. We'll get to ride some of this wave traffic. Yes! Ride a big one! Oh no, you can't ride a big one. Don't try and ride a big one. You can't recognize the difference between the big and the small sometimes. Whoops. Uh, but life is good out here on the open ocean. We may be feeding ourselves in no time, which is something I've never really done, is fed myself off farmed food. We've done bits and pieces. I've flirted with actual survival. But all I've done is just kind of like stave off death temporarily, which I guess that's all this dang game is. Leave the surfboard up on the north coast here, and we'll head south. Hopefully there's a big pile of rot down here. Tell me there's a pile of rot. Where you at? Where you at? Yes! How much? 25. Let's get this thing fertilized, and you know what? We'll plant some more grass. I don't know why I was digging up grass anyway, but... We'll fertilize this at some point. And we'll use this stuff to fertilize this, this berry farm. Oh, I just ate it. Don't eat that. Yeah, that's going to make you horribly ill, Wolani. Speaking of, let's get a fire going before I'm too far, far gone. And we'll cook up this seaweed. And we'll feed ourselves a little bit of that. I think probably seven or eight will get us back to full health. Let's try this. Not even close. I'm going to need a lot more than that, aren't I? Yep. One more? Oh, dang. Two more. This is hard. Dry yourself off, you woman. Okay. Where is my fer fertilizer? We'll fertilize this damn farm. Oh, I feel good. Look at all these berry... We got lucky and found one of those islands where it's just berry bushes galore. I dug them all up because the island was infested with monkeys. Uh, and so berries are our game plan. I'll see maybe... I guess I'd need some manure. Maybe we head back to our first island, see if we can maybe make friends with that pig once we got some cooked berries. Pigs like berries? We'll have to see if he likes berries. We'll bring some raw, we'll bring some cooked, and we'll see if we can win him over as a friend. And if we can, then maybe... Uh, oh no, that's not going to work too well. I'm trying to think of a good way to make... Oh, that worked out so perfect. Like I had the exact number of flower petals I needed. Awesome. 
Okay, so here we are back at our base. Let's look at the multitude of amazing things we can build now. Uh, what are we gonna need? Uh, so we'll need some sticks. Why don't we head... Uh, oh, I'll need some sticks just to get some sticks. Because I ain't got none. Uh, why don't I grab the board? We'll head back to the island over here. Island number one. And maybe we'll set up a second second camp on that. Uh, a second base. Somewhere we can retreat to uh, if we're ever uh, really in need. Where did I put my surfboard? Or like, it'll have different resources available to it than what we have. Because we're doing okay. Like, look at look at my health. I've got, I'm good on all fronts at the moment. I mean, this surfboard certainly ain't lasting long, but uh, as long as we keep exploring, we keep looting the nearby islands for for resources. I don't know, what's the late game like, guys? Do you just strip islands? You go in, you take all the grass, all the... Or do you just build it yourself and get farms going? Tell me how you've done it. Tell me how you've made it past sort of this mark, the nine-day mark. Because I, I, I can regularly, when I'm playing in one sitting, make it to around 14, 15 days, which is what I'm doing for the first time ever on this series. I'm recording the whole run in one go, no matter how long it takes. So by the end of it, I'm going to be relieved that it's over because I'll have been playing for freaking three hours. But, uh, but uh, what was I going to say? But, uh, but yeah, tell me if you've made it deeper than that. If you've made it, like nine days is the most we've done so far on this series, I think. Verge of the 10th day. We got into the 10th day, but never completed it. Um, so, and again, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. We got lots of freaking work to do. Uh, we got lots of tools to, to make for ourselves. Lots of resources to claim, and we haven't we haven't had any bad luck befall us. We haven't turned into a giant beaver. Uh, nobody has has uh, poisoned us. Uh, we haven't accidentally hit a pig in the face. We successfully keep expanding our farm, which I don't expect to happen. Darkness will be here soon yet again. Uh, well, that's okay. By the time darkness is here, guys, I'll take that usual quick break in the middle of this episode. We'll see. Maybe I'll take the break in the morning. We'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear. But I've, I've kind of... It's a new thing I'm doing. I realized I'm giving you guys a commercial in the middle of most videos anyway. And because I'm not thinking about it, it's always awkward to try and squeeze it in, to try and time it, where I'm not in the middle of saying something. So I'm just kind of going to create a little mini intermission for myself. For you guys, especially if you use Adblock, I mean... Please don't, because that's how YouTubers make their money, is from those little ads. Well, how some YouTubers make some of their money is a better way to say it. Uh, not all YouTubers making all their money. That's definitely not true. Uh, fire? Need some logs. Let's get a fire going real quick before darkness falls upon us. Which is happening right now. I'm, I'm going to die of darkness. I'm gonna, give me two logs. Okay, make a fire right here. Oh, it's full moon night. Oh, we don't even need a fire. Awesome. Full moon. That happens once in a while. And it's a good thing. Uh, unless your name is Woody. Every time Woody... Woody, I never saw this once. I never saw a full moon once. What would happen, basically, is just... I'd transform into a giant beaver and shit would hit the fan. That is the rough explanation of what, what happened every time I was Woody. I was Woody in, I think, in a live stream and... Uh, two live streams, maybe. I don't know, but it never, ever, ever went well. Look how big this... Look how deep that is coming in right now. That's nuts. Stupid. Tied. Met. Look at that. This is like a calm before a storm, guys. Things are gonna get worse. I'll take this full moon. I guess I gotta be ready for those dogs to show up. They always show up. The hounds. Can you hear them? Nope. Okay, never mind. I thought I heard them for a sec. But, nope. Uh, and I'm fine with it. Oh. Oh, there's some rot. I'll take that. Uh, what do I have that I can drop or eat? A little bit of rot. Nice. Take that back. Actually, let's just drop that. I'm not going to carry one rot back. We're going to need a whole lot. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's expand the berry farm. Hell, yes. Give me all this. Oh, come on. I'm going to have to clear some inventory space. You know, I will. Let's plant a coconut tree right there. Uh, let's plant a couple jungle trees. All right. And I guess that's all there is here. There's no great wealthy resources on this stupid island. Although, I forgot it. It expands. It expands over all the way over here. Uh, 
Why am I even on this island again? What was I looking for? Oh, a manure and a pig friend, because you need some actual manure to um, make friends with a, or to make a farm. And the only way I know of to get that is that is my space. Sorry, man. Give. Okay, good. We've made it. We've we've made a, a the beginnings of a friendship with this pig. And I should go pick up the rest of those wet limpets, because he's clearly a limpet-loving freak. Dude will eat soggy limpets day in, day out. Oh, yes. Another berry bush. We are expanding with just fervor. Excellent. Excellent stuff. I am fe I'm starting to feel good. I'm starting to feel real good. Guys, let me take that quick break. Uh, I'm going to keep exploring with Theodosius. I love friend. And hopefully I don't hit him in the face with an axe. Geeks, uh, I'll be back with you in just a minute. Poop it is! Theodosius has given us poop. He's given us manure. And, I mean, we're going to need a good amount of that. But uh, this is enough to start a farm, which is a good thing. Yes. And we'll take all the rocks we can get. To keep taking seashells, because we want to make surfboards all day, all night. And... If we keep feeding him, if we can keep finding food and keep giving it to him. Like, I got some soggy limpets here somewhere. I can't remember where I left some soggy limpets. Not that they're the best sounding food source, personally. Uh, let's drop these coins. Let's see if he eats rot. Eat rot? No, he doesn't. Soggy limpets? Nope, don't break that. Don't break a limpet rock, you moron. I did that in my first episode. Ooh, I'm glad you guys didn't tell me what a moron I was. That's a renewable food resource, right? The limpet rocks. Have I been through this whole jungle? I haven't. I haven't even been up in this part of the island. There could be a wonderful surprise awaiting us up here. Including more soggy limpets for old Theodosius. The mighty pig, our new friend. You okay by me, he says. Uh, I guess I should be digging these up, right? Keep that shovel. Keep that shovel working, keep it filthy, digging through the sand, digging up saplings to bring home to the farm. Saplings are one thing we're gonna have to make. We're gonna have to make a point of fostering that resource, building it up as we go. Oh, I don't want that grass. Useless. There you go, another soggy limpet for you, buddy. Oh, am I maxed out on saplings? I am. All right, well, let's uh, replant one. And I'll just take this one. There we go. And we'll just quickly drop this manure. We'll give him another limpet. And we'll see if we can get one more manure out of it. Come on. Get given things. Eat this. You Stop running away from me, you moron. Poop. Any poop? No poop. Okay. Well, that's fine. That is fine. We'll keep our one poop. Maybe there's another limpet rock up to the north of this island. You never know. There could be. Right, stop doing that, UTC. Stop digging up these damn things. Because you don't have the inventory space for them. Crab. I could kill a crab and give him crab meat. I'm sure he'd like that. I'm, I bet he likes cooked coconut. I just haven't made any inventory space. Yes, limpet. It's limpet city for you. Here you come, big boy. I'm going to feed you some limpet. Poop for me. That's it? Really? Really? No poop? Can you poop? Alright. Come see you later, Theodosius. I think I'm heading back to my home island. You ain't got nothing for me today. Where is my surfboard? Crap, it's way down there. Let's make a new surfboard. That's the glory of this. It's very efficient. Very resource efficient. And we are off. We are headed back home. Theodosius can do what he does. And we'll head back for a gorgeous little island. I love where we live. I like it. It's snake free for the most part. I haven't had to deal with them yet much. Definitely monkey free and definitely pig free, which is good. I think a pig isn't the kind of guy you want to have as like your permanent roommate. He's kind of the kind of friend that you want to like come see, but then get home to your own home. Right? Like you have those friends, those kind of slobby friends where you're like, man, I love being friends with you. You're interesting. You're cool. But you're disgusting, right? That That is most of the pigs in this game. And if you live with them, eventually they're going to annoy you so much you put an axe through their snout. 
and all hell will break loose. Uh, I was chirped a little bit for that. I was told one-on-one -on -one with a pig, easy. I should dummy him, and he just dummied me. It didn't go well at all. Oh, darkness will be here soon. That's fine. You think I can't use a torch on this boat? Look at what an amazing surfboard I have. I can use a torch anytime I want. Leave you there. Oh, I dropped my slippery shovel? How'd that happen? Give me that slippery shovel. And we are back. We are back. Oh, there's snakes. Yep, back on our home island. Leave the snakes behind, especially those poisonous mother effers. And we'll look at this massive berry farm. Nothing's regrown yet. Nothing's regrown. So once we get through... Hmm. What did I light? I almost lit something on fire. Get this torch out of your hand. What if I burn down my berry farm? I've done that before. I have absolutely done that before. And we're back. Let's see if we can't create basic farm. Basic. Oh, you need four manure? Oh, I was so on. I thought it was one. I thought it was one manure. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll do it in the future. Yep. Okay, here's our new goal. Drying rack, crock pot. Do I have the resources to make a crock pot? Another full moon. How lucky are we? Uh, crock pot, I need cut stone. Can I make three? Oh, I can make at least three. Okay, crock pot, here we come, baby. And you guys will have to help me out. There is a thing called a crock pot simulator. It lets you know basically what you're going to get out of creating a crock pot. Oh, I've also been told this is a great idea. Protection from lightning. Uh, we'll build that next. But for now, I think the crock pot's the immediate goal. Get placed somewhere. Can I, do I have anywhere to place you? There you go. Can't see a damn thing at night, eh? So, crock pot. I could cook stuff with that. So you want to have at least three different food types. Why don't... Why don't I take another quick break, guys, and I will end this episode. Um, I will end this episode by cooking something in here. I've tried to do that before with Woody, and it didn't go well. But we got the crock pot. I'll see if I can't make us a drying rack, too. I mean, we're going to get going on a roll, on a genuine roll. Do I have the... Yeah, we'll make it We'll make it all right now. Drying rack. Happening. Happening. Who needs a basic farm when you got drying racks and crock pots and other good things? I got no room. I got no room to build this dang crap. I gotta, I gotta clear this dump out. There we go. Drying rack lets you dry your meat. Oh, and your seaweed. Cool. Oh, just one at a time? Right. I may have to make multiple drying racks. That's alright. We'll get this fire going. We'll cook up this seaweed. We feed ourselves, and I'll see if I can't get a crock pot recipe going, guys. Maybe a jellyfish is in order. See if we can't fish ourselves some jellyfish. There they are. We'll maybe do a jellyfish sweet potato. Yeah, get shot. Soggy dead jellyfish. Cool. Uh, so we got a sweet potato. We have got a jellyfish. Uh, our guess what? Our farm is starting to produce foods that we can eat, like berries. Check it. And one thing I know is that you can, when you only have three ingredients, you can use sticks as a filler in your crock pot recipe. Not a good idea for us in general because we don't have that many, but cook it, cook it, throw in a soggy dead jellyfish. No, can't do that, eh? Okay, well, fine. Well, crap. Okay, well then we're not done. Damn it. We'll keep it frickin' simple. Uh, crock pot, open, take more berries, take more sweet potatoes, and we close it, and we cook it. And most of these recipes take 10 to 40 seconds. I have no idea what's going to be produced as a result of this. Inspect. Food incoming! And I guess you just make better and better food as the game goes on. Once you have access to a crock pot, you find out a few recipes that work. You build your farms around that. Maybe, who knows, maybe you combine manure and dead jellyfish. And who, what have we got? I cooked something young. Harvest it. It is called ratatouille. Look at our hunger now. Let's eat some ratatouille. That doesn't look that much better, but it also helps our health and our sanity. You guys, that might be... That might be all we need to do for this episode. You know, I feel good about that. This is the end of episode four of the Walani run and episode 12 of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. And amazingly, I will be back with a fifth episode in this run 
amazingly, a fifth episode in this run. I've never done five as a single character. And um, it'll be with you, I think, probably in just a couple of days. You'll get that next episode. Geeks, thank you so much for watching this one. I, as always, am Unite the Clans, and I will see you all in the next episode. Fallout 4, episode 21. Me and Kate here at the Railroad's hideout.